All right, guys, check it out. It's your guy Ty here. As you see, I started cutting this onion. It's a large, sweet yellow onion. I'm gonna make some homemade conies. Homemade coney dogs, man, with my own special homemade meat sauce. Got some nice 80-20 ground beef from that there De Young's Big Top Market, man. That's the place to go. They got good meat selection. Some Worcestershire sauce. Got these big old nice buns for brats and stuff. They should hold that uh, that meat sauce well. Anyway, let me get this show on the road. I can't chop holding the camera, can I? I love these little beef hot dogs too. With the natural casings that crunch. They cost to be the boss, but boy, I tell you what, it's well worth it in the end. Huh? Well, as you can see, I chopped up half of that. I'll dice up this other side and I'll use that in, you know, for you no know, topping. And here we go. Gotta get this beef going, huh? All right, here we go, man. Here's that ground beef with those uh, onions I had sauteing. Trying to get my spices and seasoning. Next, I'll. Uh, I'll crush and dice up some, some garlic. Hey guys, I got so wrapped up in the mix, I forgot to record all the stuff I was doing, but whew, look at that, one-handed. One holding the camera, one flipping. Left-handed on top of that. Ooh, I'm glad I didn't lose it. Anyway, boys, looking good, isn't it? Look at that ground beef season. Oh man, I can't show you all my secret ingredients anyway. I'm getting ready to put some of this, about three tablespoons of some of this Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire. <laughs> All right, I just dumped one in. I got this camera sitting on my chest. Maybe this is in the shot. Let's see here. You can catch it. Ready? Two. And three. Three tablespoons of some of that Worcestershire sauce there. Get that all mixed up nice and dandy. Boom. All right, baby. Baby girl. Now time for some. Ooh, ooh. I want some of that brown sugar. All right, that's one tablespoon. Time for another one. Ooh, ooh. I want some of that brown sugar. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of mustard in there, a little bit of soy sauce, and by golly. And then I'll put about a couple, maybe a couple tablespoons of uh, tomato paste in there. Then I'll take a little beef stock or just some water, and I'll let, this, uh, let them flavors blend. Like I said, I put a lot of other seasonings and spices in there earlier. I didn't show them all to you. Dun, 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 dun. A little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. Let me get this mixed up, you understand? Just fold it in there. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Let me go get that. Little paste. All right, as you can see, Broski Don ran with about two big old heaping tablespoons of tomato paste. That's actually probably about, comes out to about three and a half, maybe almost four. But anyway, it'll flavor this up nice. All right, there you go. A true homemade Michigan style coney sauce. Nice meat sauce for like coney dogs and stuff like that. Let this baby focus. So you can see some of that Tyler Hocus Pocus. Focus, hocus, pocus. Let me get out the light. See if you can see it better. Anyway, man, I'm just trying to get that sauce mixed in there. That tomato paste, I mean. See how it's looking, man? It's gonna be wonderful on them dogs, boy. Mm, mm, mm. Word it is. Look at that, man. That's a HD, baby. Boom, boom, bam. What you think? What you think, boy? Yeah, baby. Oh, man, you try to lick the camera. 
Like, man, shut up and cook. Shut up. Shut up and cook. All right. Guys, as you can see, I done turned that flame down a bit. Put it down on about medium. I'm going to let these flavors percolate for a little bit. And while this percolates and I adjust the flavor accordingly, I'm going to get them uh, hot dogs going. So stay tuned, and I'll be right back. <laughs> for those who don't know, we'll be right back. <clears throat> Can you guys see that? I got this camera balancing on my forehead. Well, the strap hanging on my head balancing it. So you can see me flip this meat. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, bam. Well. Well, folks. Look at that. That has a nice consistency. Tastes pretty good, too. I had to adjust a couple things. As always, man. That's part of cooking, right? Yeah. Nice consistency there. That'll lay on them dogs nice, you know what I'm saying? Look at that. It'll sit on there good. Hell, you, know, you could eat that like a sloppy joe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, baby. Look at that right there. Get these babies going. boys in there making beats he's a dynamo when it comes to that that particular doll that we use FL studio that boy teaches me how to do certain things on there when it comes to like wobble bass and stuff all right guys there's a big old pot of those dogs here's that sauce and over here I have the fixings right yonder here. Mustard, ketchup, some homemade sweet pickle type stuff, some relish, some diced onions, and I got me a dog and one of them big buns ready to roll. So let me get it hooked up and show you what we're looking at here. Here we go. Classic Coney dog made by yours truly. My homemade meat sauce in there with some mustard and some onions sprinkled along the top. With that nice beef natural casing dog in there. Kogels. Be inspired. Get you some. <laughs> to be honest with you though, I'm going to hook some other ones up with some of these other fixings I have. But anyway, that's that guys. Make it good. Stay safe. And remember, we love you. Hot dogs. That's what's for dinner tonight. Coney dogs, shall I say. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.